This video aims to demonstrate the features of the packed views uh, generative design graph as mentioned in the blog post. Uh, so to get started, we're just in the advanced sample model uh, on the A2 sheet, which has some section views and, and a building section and some detail views on it. Uh, so what we need to do is the sheet starts out with views kind of in place for us. Uh, what we're going to do is just move those off to the side. It doesn't really matter where, and we'll see why, why that makes a difference here in a second as well. Within generative design, so manage generative design, we can create a study. As you can see, we have our packed view study already in here. So we can go ahead and select that. This graph, it's not really doing any optimization. It's providing some results for us to pick from for viewport layout. So we'll go ahead and change this to randomize. We'll do an option from zero to 500 and the sheet we're using is sections. Let's go ahead and save these settings. So in order to start to see what kind of options we have for laying out this sheet, we can go ahead and click on generate. So generative design will run in and start generating results for us. We have a built-in preview here, so we do have the ability uh, to navigate it. If we zoom in, we'll see that the um, viewport names are included in these views. So that way we have somewhat of an idea of what it's laying out. So those viewport names match within Revit. At this time, that's the visualization that we have access to, but we are able to kind of see those results pretty quickly. Uh, we are also able to see how many views we placed. As you can see, we have a total of five views available to us on this sheet and we can filter by placing all five of the views. So if we know that we absolutely want to place five views, we can kind of filter for that. So let's go ahead and select an option. I'll select this one because I know that all five views do fit. We'll move this to the side and we'll click Create Revit Elements. So within the Dynamo Graph, we do have a gate node, which kind of tells Revit to hold on until I'm happy, <laughs> and then we can generate those results. So this graph also locates the viewport title to be the width of the viewport, and it kind of locates it in a nice way. Uh, previously, this wasn't possible in Revit, so it is nice to have access to this now at this time. So as you can see, we laid out this sheet, none of the views overlap, and all of them fit on the sheet pretty nicely. If we were to hit undo, it will go back to this layout, and we can actually explore other options uh, that might be a little bit better, perhaps. Let's say we wanted this long view over to the right instead. We can go ahead and select that, click Create Revit Elements again, and we now have that view over to the right side. Uh, so it's really nice this graph will lay out the sheet for you. Uh, if you were to add additional views to the sheet, so if I added like this 3D view or something, I will add a couple we can create a new study for those. So if we go back to create study, we can pick randomize once again. Our settings were defaulted and the sheet we're working with is this section sheet. If we click on generate with the now seven views that we have, the workflow will iterate through, create options for those seven views and we can kind of keep on using the workflow in that manner. So we'll let this run and then we'll just look at what it generated for us. Once it's complete, we'll see all of the options given to us. Uh, once again, if I wanna look at options where I placed all seven views, I can do that. Uh, so we see all the options presented to us. Uh, this one looks pretty good, so we'll pick that. And we'll go ahead and say Create Revit Elements. And once that's complete, we'll see that we laid out all these views in a pretty nice way. Uh, as you may remember from a previous post, the Create Revit Elements button simply tells Revit to just kind of hold on until we click it. So it's not necessarily creating everything in this case. It's just waiting to set the locations of these viewports uh, for us. Uh, so as you can see, that sheet layout's pretty nice. Everything's lined up very nicely. Uh, all the viewport titles match, and we've laid out a sheet pretty quickly. Uh, future expansion for this graph, uh, includes things like setting the viewport numbers right away after we like the layout and things like that. In the case of having too many views, 
So let's go back and filter to six views being placed. If we have too many views, so we'll pick one of these options. Let's drag this over to the left. It will place the six views that it was able to on the sheet and then the leftover view it'll leave off to the side. So it won't actually uh, mess with the layout for us. So if we were to have this view kind of on the sheet already, it would move it over to the left. Uh, so there it is. You can take a look at all the different options available to you. Uh, create studies based on different sheets and start performing some auto sheet layout that you're able to QA and see which results you like uh, with a visualization within generative design. So try it out and thanks for checking it out.